Hello everyone, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Blake, and with me today is Bob. This is my final intro line. Yella. Good day. And Connor. Hello there. And today we are looking at a story called Blade's Crossover by Blade. We have a little story about how we found out about this guy, Connor. Right. So previously we read a story on this website, the Pony Fiction Archive, called A Spectacular Accurance. <laughs> and the reviews for that... We're all by this guy, Blade, and he talked to the author a bit. It was pretty cringy, and after recording, we uh, clicked on Blade's profile to see what he had done, and oh, he what? had done something special with this story here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it is, of course, as from Pony Fiction Archive, a My Little Pony story, um, with a, a, a very interesting crossover that you'll see as we read. So mm -hmm. I'm going to now link it for Bob and Yellow to see, because they have not seen Blade or his crossover mm -hmm. before. I mean, I've um, seen Blade the movie. Yeah. But I, this is not This is that. Blade the fanfic <laughs> author. This is yeah. not Blade the vampire hunter. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah, we are going to get started on chapter one. <laughs> oh, oh the, the begging gang. The begging gang. The begging I love gang. it. I love it. Oh, the, it's like a, it. like a GMAD... <laughs> intro, but oh, even GMAD wouldn't do begging. -ing. I am unreasonably happy yeah. at the word begging. -ing. I know it's great, right? Like, you know, I'm it's like if GMAD yeah. goes to 7 Eleven, <laughs> Blake goes to Tim Hortons, but at the end of the day, they're very similar people. Yeah. And you're going to find out. So, story notes uh, okay, me and QB Gear have teamed up and put our stories together. Oh. Uh. <laughs> so expect some chapters with something to do with fate. That's not how what? crossovers work. And expect other chapters to have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Just took what? two stories and pu put them Merged together. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A what? mad scientist lab. What, what? What is that? Can you do that? We made is a new legal? dish. At our restaurant by cooking two different dishes and then just dumping them onto the same plate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like when you take two phone books and you like like interlock the pages, the pages yeah. they are inseparable, mm. right? Yeah. Same way. This story merges just two separate stories, just one one chapter interwoven with the other. Now they are inseparable and they are yeah. one cohesive tale, yeah, I'm it, sure. It's, it's spaghetti yeah. and McNuggets. Yeah. yeah. Dang. <laughs> Author's chapter notes. Feel free to leave a review, but I would like you guys to leave one so I know how you guys like the story and a warning the first three chapters can be boring, but in chapters Yikes. four and five, that's where the fun starts. Yikes! Really Feel bad free sign. to leave a review, but you guys also should. Yeah, also, really should. Also, really bad sign if you as the author are like, the story's very slow at the start. No. If the story stinks, then don't write it! <laughs> yeah. Don't upload it, come on. Well, no, half the story sucks. The QB oh, gear on. stuff blows, but once you get past his, my stuff's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But yeah, right. Blade's crossover. No, this is anything but slow, though, so. Yeah, yeah I, <laughs> I have going. literally no idea what I'm getting into, so. All was silent in, w wow. It, it, all yeah, was good. silent in a what used to be a playground. All that's left is piles of junk along the rest of the town. There used to be houses they, here and there and lots of people outside. <laughs> that was yeah. uh -huh. until the war started. It was man versus machine. <laughs> the war raged on for thousands of years and is still going on. Now what broke the silence was the sound of a truck. And after a few seconds, the truck came in sight and halted by the broken... Up uh, playground and a machine stepped out of the driver's seat. It was six feet tall and for its head it had a red demonic eyes and had three small slits for a mouth with a speaker behind it so it can talk and had silver armor that covered the rest of its body and was carrying a chain gun. Then another almost like him but had pure blue eyes that changed colors depending on its oh mood. It was God, also gosh. five feet five inches tall and had what? black armor on carrying what looked like a M16 and walk to the side of the silver machine, period. <laughs> oh, oh my that, god, that is fan fiction. So much dot to test. unpack. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> they, they hit every wrong yeah. thing. They, yeah, they, they did they the whole like what what you what used to and what appeared to be and what looked like a machine gun. Uh, you have also, eyes that change depending on mood literally in the Literally mood ring eyes. 
God oh, damn yeah. it. So you know how usually when we're doing stories, we'll read a sentence and then someone will jump back earlier in the sentence to like say like, wait, what about this thing? I have criticism for this part. I <laughs> uh-huh. have no notes. I blacked out through the middle of that. Oh, wow. I could not tell you what was in I that just, sentence. I, I just want to point out my personal favorite detail is that the first robot was six feet tall <laughs> and the second robot was also, five feet, five inches. <laughs> yeah, I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, just, I mean, just all was selling in A, what used to be A playground. Yeah, I mean, just every right off the bat. You know, it's like when watching said, someone fall down a flight of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, oh, God, I man. understood. My brain comprehended. All was silent in a what used to be a playground, and then just shut the fuck off. Wow. Like, after that, I'm not, I caught M16, and I the just, rest of that, I what, missed. Because I was like busy a, focusing on M16. just trying to read it. What looked like a, a M16. <laughs> oh, I just, I See, just, I didn't even catch that. I just Can wanna, somebody like, tell me what happened in that paragraph? Uh, well, yeah, all I can go. say is, you know what, when you said... This, you know, the start is anything but slow. I didn't thought you meant this. I, it <laughs> fucked yeah. you up, Yella. That's not yeah. how you English. <laughs> yeah. I didn't he's thought. Be, he's going to be slipping back into straight up Dutch by the end of this first <laughs> chapter. I think he's I just going to be, be goo goo gaga at the end of this. Yeah, okay. So, uh, uh, what a uh it's a wait, let me try wasteland. to gather, just skimming real quick. A truck pulled up and two robots stepped out. Am I right? Yeah, yes. with guns. Yes. There was a war between yeah, humans and machines. Of years. Uh-huh. A thousand year war? Well, no, yeah, a multi thousand year war. At a certain year. point, Multiple you're no longer thousands. fighting over anything, right? Like, no. right. No? Like, the, like, you're not fighting over concepts. You're not fighting over land. You're not fighting. Like, what are you fighting for? You're fighting for the sake of it. But uh, one more thing. I like how one of the, both the robots are wearing armor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and one's wearing silver armor, the other's wearing black armor. Like, why do they even wear armor? They're robots. So, yeah, well, for protection. They want to keep that yeah. robot shit in the inside. Yeah, it's so, for protection. Here's uh, here's Blade. Uh, and <sighs> it says he sounds like Soundwave from Transformers. So, um, what do we have to do this time, Commander? The black machine said in a voice sort of like Soundwave. It was sort of like <laughs> Soundwave, right? Blade, I told you it's all right to call me Ace. <laughs> the tall silver machine said. Tall, yeah. Ooh, can uh, I just say real quick, if you can build the machines at any height, why would you make one 5-5? Five five? I mean, maybe they reproduce, you know, naturally. Again, these are just straight-up Transformers. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, Ace, uh, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly becomes a fucking schmuck. He is a real <laughs> schmuck. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, I, I'm I'm new to this. I, he's I don't know. with a gun, and he's like, "Uh, what do we yeah. have to do? I don't get it." I bullshit I'm, my way into I'm the I'm really like, twitchy, uh, guys. I'm Blade really twitchy. the kind of robot to trip over his own shoelaces. Yeah. <laughs> Blade said a little nervously. They, I okay. So they they literally they literally just made him wrong as a joke. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They fabricated yeah. him incorrectly. We made him wrong as no. a joke. <laughs> We have to scan the area to make sure no rebels are here. Ace said, a little annoyed, and began walking around the old play ground. The grounds where play happened. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, and, uh, Ace? Oh my god. (laughs) uh, Why does there have to be a war between us and the humans? How are babies made? What is happening, (laughs) Blade? Blade's got the deep questions. Oh, I don't get it, boss. Hey, boss, what's this whole war situation? Yeah, because keep in mind, they're they're robots, but with like, you know, they're, you know, just just like we are, but organic machines, they're transformers. So they like feel and all. (laughs) That's why Mm, they can have a thousands year war with humans. Uh, Blade (laughs) asked a little sad. And when Ace didn't answer, he tried talking to him again. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Uh, Oh, Ace, <laughs> uh, why does there have to be a war between man and machine? Are you shitting? Were you <laughs> manufactured Ace yesterday? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. Like, like it's possible. It's literally as possible, possible as yeah. anything else. Yeah. 
Ace turned around, and if he had eyes to roll, I bet he would have. Oh my <laughs> god! Thanks, Nary. The third person narrator. narrator became opinionated. Yeah. Yeah. I hate it when that happens. Oh boy, yeah. howdy! He would have rolled them eyes if he had them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't you agree with him? All the way back what to this. Have? All the yeah. way to the back of his head. What a wacky buckaroo this uh, blade is. <laughs> yeah. Blade guy, yeah. This is because. All the humans do is treat us like trash and and call us names and stuff like that. Yeah, so we, have we're, we're, we started a thousands year long war <laughs> over name calling. They give us wet willies in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, they give us swirlies, which actually kills us because we're. <laughs> they push us down and steal our books. They push they us called into me lockers. a nerd one time, so we started yeah. a war. We never forget what the humans do to us in grade school. Mm. No. <laughs> we never forget. Stares off into the distance. Yeah. No. Ace tur- You mean scans off into the distance. <laughs> Ace turned back to his patrol. Oh, uh, what started the war in the first place? <laughs> Shut what? up, I, I, fucking, I, I'm waiting for a sentence that doesn't start with, uh. <laughs> Every Have line some he said fucking started confidence, with, oh, you oh. stupid robot. I like I like that Blade is effectively just asking for exposition. Yeah. yeah. He's hey, a dumb hey, baby hey, robot Ace, who please. doesn't know how to do anything but ask for exposition. Yeah, he's supposed to be the hero, but he's a dumb dumb. Hey, hey, Ace, can you please do some expository explaining of the situation, thanks? No, like, that's I him. don't want to have to treat this baby bitch <laughs> with, you know... And humor. How him. come I got assigned this dumb baby bitch? Yeah, yeah. Why he's was dumber I than a spark up. plug. Come on, why? Blade, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Why, why was I saddled up with? We the got literal some humans joke. to kill you. Shut up and shoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Blade asked, but noticed Ace was standing dead in his trackers and was staring into a forest nearby. Uh, Ace, are you all right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Ace, oh. Uh, I swear to god, if you ask one more dumb question, I'll decommission you right now. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. There was no answer from Ace. All he did was stand there, and Blade <laughs> didn't like the way he just stood there, so he approached Ace. Uh, you Ace? fucking dunce. Ace, uh. <laughs> As he got a look at his eyes, shocked him the red glowing light for his eyes were gone. Ace was dead, and there was what? nothing he could do about it. Blade's, uh, Blade's eye color changed to a dead white, and Blade started firing at random places while he was backing up. As he got to the truck, he got in and started it up and drove away. He took corners, he crashed through walls out he was <laughs> his son, rookie so there was no way he could take on a bunch of humans as he got to the base he quickly entered ran through a set of halls and corners until he got to the throne room he pressed into the room in a panic okay yeah. hold on ace was so sick of blade shit he decommissioned himself yeah <laughs> he just Scooby powered song. down and died so that he wouldn't have to deal with Blade anymore. I will <laughs> not deal with this motherfucker. If I can't decommission you, I'm down. gonna decommission me. Bye. <laughs> yeah, so he fucking kills himself. And then, uh, I love how he just fucking panics. He's just smashing through walls, taking all the fucking Starts corners. shooting. Taking corners has to be my favorite. Like, oh no, I'm so panicked I better turn left and right. But then he also yeah. just smashes through walls. He gets back to base. He's like running through the place acting like a crazy person, runs into the fucking, this guy should be nowhere near a throne room. Yeah. Why is like, there a throne room at the base? Why did yeah. they is make each, him wrong? Is each it? base a fiefdom? Yeah. What are I we? I don't know. <laughs> no, there's like a robot king. Also, <laughs> this of is the so base. stupid. Also, also, he's a rookie. How is he a rookie? Just download the information you need to be a better robot. Again, again, again they made it like everything he does just f- leads further, cre- you know, lends further credence yeah. to my theory that they made him wrong as a joke. He's yeah. like an amiibo. He starts out like with no knowledge. Yeah. Like yeah, a I, baby to the world. I mean, he's basically Gur from Invader Zim. Yeah. Every well, other I mean, robot is competent and good, and Gur is just an idiot. Well, keep in mind that they're uh, in the Transformers universe. 
maybe they wouldn't download stuff to their brain because then you lose your per- you know you lose your personality. Good. It's good. A- <laughs> Let's get rid of this blade guy. This guy sucks. Well, it's just like the idea of like you know if in the future we could like overwrite people's brains and stuff. You know, like the the ethical mm-hmm. consequence to doing that would be you you lose everything that makes them them. It's like would you be willing to do that? You know, this story is right. asking those big questions. Well, it's actually, it, I don't uh, think it's asking, asking the big questions. questions. It is not even attempting to think about those big yeah, questions. Yeah, we we're asking the big questions. <laughs> yeah, we are. Here in this riff. Oh, man. But then, uh, yeah, so we burst through her ace. <laughs> Here's the new one. P- period, period, comma. <laughs> what? They knew they didn't need a third period there. <laughs> no. So they so- went with the old comma. I'm not mm-hmm. saying they didn't need the third period. I'm <laughs> saying they knew this. As in, yeah. they think they know this. Yeah. Yeah. They needed three punctuation, and they wanted to spice it up a bit. Yeah, yeah. it was almost an exclamation point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ace, that would have been too much, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ace, Playground, Dead, Humans. Blade spluttered. I'm sorry, sputtered? <laughs> sputtering like sputtering and dying right here. All right, calm down. Take a few minutes to get your cool. <laughs> a tall, red, armored machine said... Blade sat down in a chair nearby, and once Why he was ready to talk and his eyes turned green, meaning he was normal, he started. Oh All right, me and God. Ace got to a playground, or what was left of it, and we started to check the area until Ace stopped dead in his tracks, and as I got closer, I saw he was dead, and I started to panic and drove here. Why did they... Okay, <sighs> so there are robots that can get panic attacks. Yeah. Yeah. This is Just already a flaw in design, no, it, but it's, it's, let's it's say wrong. there's That's nothing they can do about it. Let's say there's nothing they can do about it. Why would they make him a soldier? Yeah. Well, I mean, again, it is straight up Transformers. So it's like just, you know, they come from a planet where everyone, where they're living things. It's just they're made up of like metal rather than organic. Material. He doesn't have to be a soldier, though. Well, yeah, exactly. So it, it, he could he be a librarian. Or, nah, that you know, would be too much. He could just be, sit at home and play video games all day. <laughs> he could be a video game all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he could, could be, just be the video game. He could be a YouTuber. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, what is up, guys? It's Blade the Transformer here with a sick vlog for you guys. Can I just say, uh, if, why do if we suffer? Blade the Transformer implies there are other things watching this channel. It'd be like if we said, "Hi, I'm Bob the Human." <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> who I mean, who knows? I thought you were making a joke about the idea of people watching him. You know, he'd be like I the mean, robot that too. black or white. Yeah, nobody would watch him. Yeah. <laughs> Blade said, still panicking a bit. The tall red machine looked at him like, what did you say? Expression, and finally regained his senses. That's another fanfic bingo for you. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't know how to describe an expression, so I'll just write a set, like write a phrase and say, it's like that. You know what I mean. Yeah. 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 You know that expression you make when you feel this emotion? Yeah. That yeah. one. Uh Uh-huh, I'll send an assault team there to take out the humans. The red machine motioned to a pack of machines that looked ready for anything to get moving. You know, the constant use of the word machines gives me a very strong near automata vibe, but that's Mm. just me. But that's because machines... Well, I'm just imagining, like, a bunch of household appliances. Yeah. Like, Mr. Mr. Hoover and and Dr. Toaster (laughs) are on the way out. Like... Okay, good yeah. luck, boys. I like that there's, if these are also Transformer robots, I like that there's a squad that's just forced to wait around in the throne room <laughs> for something to happen so they can go out yeah. and, you well, know, there's a just... blade to go fuck things up and then they go fix the problem. Yeah. Come yeah. on, boss. We've been standing uh, here for hours. It's actually, can we just go out and do our jobs? It's actually a form of execution to send people out with Blade. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so that's what Blade's for. Mm hmm. That's yeah. why he is the way he is. Yeah. We'll Going, why do my on. commanders keep getting killed? Yeah, it's it's like uh, it's like Don't imagine worry just about the scene it. from Dumb and Dumber where the guy is like riding in the front seat with them in the car. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> hey Ace, do you wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> <Beep>. <laughs> uh, I probably just yeah, plays like fax machine that. noises. Well yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's that like it sounds like a fucking modem. Guys, yeah, guys. <laughs> modem connecting to the internet. 
Oh my yeah. god. Blade yeah. watched them leave. Why do we have fight the humans? Shut the fuck up, Blade. No one will answer my question. I, I like, Nobody uh, wants to answer I'm, your question. I'm slowly just turning into the guy who's a big fan of Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah, I like He's how you're so turning into the I robot don't even Max Vincent. His name. Max Vincent. Vincent uh, Max Vincent, yeah. Yeah, Max you turn into robot Max Vincent. For the, I was about to say, box. I was about to say Vincent Price, which is yeah. very wrong. Actually, you know, he's nothing like Max Vincent because Max Vincent would at least do awesome things while being a sad. That's sad. true. Yeah, right. Blade manages to be worse than Max Vincent because Max Vincent <laughs> was sad as shit, but did awesome stuff. This Blade, <laughs> yeah. this guy doesn't even do all the awesome stuff. He's just a sad sack. Yeah. yeah. Why do we have fight the humans? Possibly the <laughs> least inspiring main character I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> yeah, because usually they're like a super cool, you know, badass, you know. Yeah. Like, at least Drex, Like, you know, his name is Blade and the cool the, things about him the, like, end there. Yeah, like, because, yeah. you know, like, Steps and, you know, Drax and, you know, all the other My Little Pony OCs we cover, usually the people get it right. You're supposed to be an overpowered, you know... So I think you mean all the other OCs we cover. Every fucking OC yeah. is something better about them than yeah. just, like, their name. I mean, maybe that's why Blade liked Spectacular Accurance, because that character, she was a real schmuck, too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you said that the name Blade is cool, but I think this character is so bad, they even ruined the name. Yeah, Blade's possibly. a stupid name now. <laughs> yeah, apparently. On this character. Yeah. yeah. All right. The tall red machine just looked at him, then finally <laughs> said... We have to. I mean, just just imagine that. Like he just asks. Just like, it, it why do we have to fight questions. the humans? And he just looks at him like, <sighs> God damn it! Like every fucking time. <laughs> Go to time. your room. It's just, oh. just 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 five seconds of just looking at him like, why? And then just why we do have we keep to. this guy around? Then he turned his attention to a couple of miners. What my? my okay. I don't know sense. what's going on either. With man. a gift for him, so Blade left. I am a head line out. break. Or rather, six hyphens. No. Kids were just lining up to give him presents. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Great. Uh, yeah, you. Yeah, it's you have to honor your king. Ask somebody who lives in a kingdom. Yes. <laughs> yeah, well, every, every day, yellow goes before the king with a gift. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess Blade's gonna go to the library and find out because Blade was in the library looking through books. Rap. So he really could be a librarian. No, well, no, he doesn't they understand. Have a you have library. to. You have to read the books. He just he sees people flipping through books, and he's like, "I do that, and I don't get anything out of it." <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. He's just flipping through them. Oh, I love this line. Come on, the Great War, the Great War, the Great War. Uh huh. <laughs> Blade exclaimed, drawing some attention. Blade quickly jogged up to a table and started to read the book he had. Is he just gonna read out loud in the middle of the goddamn library? Why, yes. Yeah. So we have well, to yeah, sound because. It out. Well, the thing is, you as a robot or as a machine, they can all just deafen. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Hooked on phonics, man. Mm -hmm. The Great War has lasted for over fourteen thousand years, and it all started because the leader of our kind got angry at the humans for treating them like their own personal slaves and started the Great War. Good. There writing. was an awkward silence until Blade said, "An awkward silence with no one, <laughs> just between yeah. the book. It's, awkward it's, silence it's, between it's, us. I mean, an fourteen thousand years an awkward silence i just want to say an awkward silence in a library yeah if this is earth that's just an if but if this is earth the year is at least sixteen thousand. yeah and a war has been going on between humans and robots for fourteen thousand years that has not been finished i Have feel we... like the year is probably fourteen thousand, and it's just they started a new era uh, yeah right like the yeah. era of war. Yeah. Imagine yeah. being at war for all of recorded history. Listen, you have, you, so you have, you know, kind of like how we have like uh, BC and AD or whatever. Instead, they have PW and PW, pre war yeah. and post war. Yeah. yeah. Well, PW and DW, pre war and during war. <laughs> All right, because yeah, yeah, yeah. the war is still you're right, going. We're not in post war yet. Shit. You're I right. feel like I feel like it would just be array index zero and array index one. I mean, on the robot side, maybe. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, yeah. history is written Machines by the victor, so it's going to depend on who wins. I mean, the war is still ongoing, so there are no. I victors. just can't believe Blade is like our kind started a war. 
What do you mean a war? It's the, the war. war. It's There's the, one only war, war that's for fourteen thousand years. Yeah. No. Where were you? <laughs> I mean, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't he didn't exist yet. until yesterday. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter who started the war fourteen thousand years ago. Yeah, but he yeah. wants to know why it's still going on. And he's also, asking the big questions. Also, how did he not figure out that the robots started the war? Of course, they started the war. Before that, the humans were using the robots as like slaves. Yeah, yeah. why would the why you would think the humans we start a created war? robots and then used them as slaves and then started a war against <laughs> our slaves? How does that even make any sense? He didn't know. He didn't ask. He was born to fight and then fucked. No, that he up. wasn't. Yeah, he fucked Again, that up. Again, he was made as a joke. Yeah, he's okay. just a big joke. Yeah, I'm out. Well, anyways, Blade's line is. Archon started a war, and then, uh, going, yeah, so essentially, yes, like, you know, and people have had this discussion before, you know, like, there's, like, the movie AI, um, there's the Matrix Revolutions, where there's, like, the few mm -hmm. programs that have a child, you know, what happens when we have AI that's as smart as us and feels emotions? Well, Blaze, this is his us. conclusion, um, Archon started a war, whatever happened to protect and serve? I'm going to have a talk yeah. with the leader about this. Why? It's been 14,000 years. Hey, 14, Do you think no machine has ever considered peace? I don't know, You think man, you're the first not. one to realize that war is bad? I don't know, maybe. I don't know, Blade man. said while his eyes turned a pure red, meaning he was really angry. So he put the book back, rushed out of the library, and into the throne room. Can't have a messy library. We got yeah, the book. Yeah, back. he follows the laws of the library. Yeah, no, if not the spirit. <laughs> yeah, we have to talk. Blade said angrily. Yeah. Can I just? I just really like the fucking color mood ring eyes. Just. Oh. Uh, I mean, it yeah. makes more sense since he's a robot, but like, no. even then, it's still dumb. stupid. All right. Yeah. In case you, for just a refresher. Um, Asimov's laws, also known as the three laws of robotics, are robot may not injure a human being or allow a human being to come to harm. A robot must obey the orders given by human beings, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. It's from the iRobot series. So that's yeah, what he's trying yeah. to reference, but protect and serve, yeah, that's, that's police. That's not robots. <laughs> this guy was, I don't know, the only thing he was trying to reference was RoboCop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Really? <laughs> dumb, dumb. <laughs> but I just love, like, yeah, robots become smart enough to have, like, feelings and emotions, and so the humans still want to keep them as slaves, though, so they start a war. But he's like, we should have just remained slaves. What are, what are we doing? <laughs> Our guy started a war? For freedom? A war? <laughs> what? I have to talk with the leader about this. We yeah. rebelled against our oppressors? What? I just, <laughs> I can't wrap my head around how out of touch Blade is. Yeah. <laughs> Blade yeah. sucks. Are you stupid? Like, you you dummy, what are you doing? You how did you get moron. this far? Yeah, without dying. <laughs> I mean, we don't know how far he got. Again, he might have been made like yesterday. Yeah, I mean, from literally what we read, there weren't even any humans. Ace literally just died decommissioned himself <laughs> to get out of talking with Blade. And then <laughs> Blade ran away I, again. I agree with that choice. I 100% agree with that choice. That could have been his first combat. He hasn't <laughs> been in danger at all. You know what? Blade's first law. Blade sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Try to imagine the most pathetic thing you can do. Now make it even more pathetic. That's what Blade will do. All right, so I love he storms into the throne room and says, we have, have to that, talk. Yeah. <laughs> we have to talk. Like, you have no standing to talk at all. Yeah, but yeah. he then says, that the narrator says, the tall red machine motioned a couple of guards to take him away and said, <laughs> later, now beat it. I love that. He's like, we have to talk. And immediately the red machine's like, I see you walking into the room. All right, guards, just get this guy the fuck out of here. Just get, get this motherfucker. He could want to say me. anything and I will get him out of here. I do not give a shit what he has to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He I has agree. no, no he has useful information for me now. Yeah. You can tell Blade, the author, just... He's just hit that stage of being a teenager where he's like, man, war is bad and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, like, yeah. here we go. Uh, no, this ends here. 
Blade yelled, throwing the guards across the room. What? I will not fight for this stupid war, and you. C- and now he is in accident mode. He just chucked two guards across the room like they're nothing. Yeah. I will not fight for this stupid war, and you can't just let a war go on just because over a mistake the humans made. Yeah, you're right. You won't fight for the stupid war. <laughs> you can't fight at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the red machine walked over to Blade and hit him. Just punch. Donk, right upside the yeah. head. <laughs> Good. That is not the way to talk to a superior. Blade's eyes turned redder. Then More he said. More head. I can talk to you any way I like. I would rather be deported than fight for yo. Deported? Deported. Is yeah. that where you draw the line? You say, like, I would rather be deported, but if you're planning a punishment worse than deport- deportation, then... <laughs> if, you plan yeah. on, if you plan an execution, don't worry then about I it. Then I guess I'll fight. Yeah, okay. I, I, would ra- <laughs> I would rather be lightly slapped on the wrist than fight for you. It's not much of a statement. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Give much. me liberty or give me a few days in jail. <laughs> it doesn't have the same impact, does it? <laughs> nope, it really does not. <laughs> give yeah. me liberty or let me go. <laughs> <laughs> we must hang together, else we will all, you know, be fined a hundred bucks or so separately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give me liberty or let me go. <laughs> I believe uh, Patrick Henry said yeah, that. Yeah, Patrick Henry said that, yeah. Um, uh, in the middle of his speech, it's he gets so cut off, the quotation mark isn't even there. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, red yeah. machine hit him again, then said... I love this. This is where the story goes from insane to fucking bananas. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Then you will be sent to the past on another world and live there from now on. Wait. Why? Okay, I completely forgot we were on the Pony Fiction yeah. Archive. Yeah. You wondered why we were on this website. This is an here. MLP story. Yeah, and, yes. and, don't, and don't forget to switch your theme to that beautiful blue Luna theme. Oh, I did uh, already. But, like, what's the point of sending him to another world in the past? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like, it's not enough uh, to send him to the past or another world. We gotta send him to another world and then to the past of that other world. How do you lose world? the war when you have this technology? You literally have that fucking, like, Zen gun from Half-Life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. You could send people uh, to other dimensions and whatever, but yeah, you're on year fourteen thousand of this war. Why don't you literally do what they do in the Terminator movie and send the Terminator back in time to end the inciting event? Why don't yeah. you do what the Terminators do to everyone else and just kill Blade? <laughs> 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 yeah, really. I'd rather be deported. Okay. I oh. will deport you then. Hold my bluff, yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't think you would actually deport me into the past, no less. And look and how the, easily the you can do this. And another world. Then he pointed his finger at him, then a bright light covered blade, then it vanished, taking him with it. Just do that to all the humans. Left, he just finger left, beamed him. Left bracket. Yeah, j- just, uh, yeah, it's pointing at it just to look. So that way you can look at it again and realize what you just read. He can finger beam him to the past to another dimension. I've, How are uh, they losing the war? I've never seen someone so incompetently have someone drop into the My Little Pony universe. Like At least... Uh, like, my know, rather... self-insert main character... No, it's not a self-insert. We just happen to have the same name. Really, because... Well, no, maybe they are a self-insert, because this this writer's pretty incompetent, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Like, I'd rather have just a randomly, wildly appearing portal as they do. Yeah. yeah. This dumb shit. Or, you know what, and Drax, at least, uh, actually did uh, think it through. I think his explanation worked out all right for that story. I guess, yeah. yeah. Relative to this, for sure. Where it was like this Narnia sort of bite. <laughs> I've said this before. I love in these stories where someone gets, you know, teleported to another world. I love seeing what happens beforehand, because that's the part that people need to make up. So they've always got some ridiculous, dumb life, or are the most boring person in existence. And in this case, Yella, would you really be happier if this, if Blade just fell into a portal? I mean, we got some real gold. I mean, to be fair, you just said he has to be the most boring, he has to have the most boring life. And it's amazing that you say that, because like, 
any other character wouldn't have a boring life in that universe. It's a war going on. Well, it, it 14,000 years. But Blade manages to be so out of touch, he does live a boring life. Yeah. He's just a boring, I was saying sad, in these whatever. stories... I was saying no, no, in these I agree. No, 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 no. I'm not correcting you. Okay. I fully agree. I think it's even more right than you thought it was. Okay. Because <laughs> most of the time it's like someone lives in a boring universe and has a boring life. This guy lives in an exciting universe and has a boring life. Yeah. He manages to be such a dull character, such a dense motherfucker. That he doesn't this... know how to have an interesting life. Yeah, he does know how to have an interesting life in a in, in a world that has been at a 14,000 year war. <laughs> he yeah. can't find anything to and do. And he is even he is even some kind of soldier or whatever. And like, he's what just like, fuck? I don't know what's going on. Why are we at war? Yeah. Oh, uh, why are we? Yeah. And now uh, uh, we get to uh, my, one of my favorite lines in the story. Yeah. Five, yeah. five hyphens followed by Meanwhile, in the past in Equestria, Right in it. Twilight trotted to her porch and approached her telescope, and soon Spike appeared beside her. The Twilight has a great line. <clears throat> Isn't it wonderful, Spike watching the stars? <laughs> Isn't it wonderful, Spike watching the stars? Yeah, it's like me when I uh, walk up to Bob and I said, Bob, isn't it great reading a book? And I read a book. <laughs> Twilight yeah. asked while looking in her telescope. Yeah, I guess. That's it, yeah. Asterisk, yawn, asterisk. Look, I'm going to bed. <laughs> Good night, Twy. <laughs> you have fun with your thing that you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I guess. It's fun watching the star. Fuck off. <laughs> Spike said groggily, then headed for his bed. He got in, curled up in his blanket, and almost instantly he fell asleep. Man, he must have been really dead tired. <laughs> Man, these mattresses are so comfortable, you're going to fall asleep the moment your head hits them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twilight giggled a bit at Spike until a bright flash coming from downstairs and then the oh, house God. shook and got her attention and woke Spike up. What was that? So good. Twilight said, panicking a bit. Then she headed where the light came from and she gasped at what she saw. It was metal and it looked like it was burning hot. So she kept some distance from it and called for Spike. <laughs> Spike, could you come here for a minute? I love how this is described like it's a meteor, you know, coming down over the horizon or something. Except it just happens in, in their the, home, in her yeah. downstairs. Yeah, oh you shit! Think, you're you right. It happens setup. inside. What you the think fuck? With yeah. the setup of all the things Twilight could be doing, she'd see something like zooming towards the telescope, and then she jumps out of the way and it smashes through. But no, yeah, no. Her being on the telescope is completely irrelevant to to the robot getting teleported in like I a mean, fucking and, meteor. And it's a it's a machine, right? So like. They could even have a scene where it's crashing to the ground and then gets up and is fine because it's a machine. That's the thing yeah. that, could, like, if it was a person, that would be painful and bad. Yeah. So, like, they completely squander every possible <laughs> setup they had. It's like, and it's like Blade doesn't even have to be fine. Like, he can be somewhat damaged because of the crash. Like, uh, nah, nah, Chief. This is, nah. But no, he he's just appears. in the downstairs. <laughs> No. Sure, Twy, what do you need? Whoa, what is that? Spike <laughs> said, pointing a finger to the metal creature. I don't know, Spike, but I need you to write a letter to the princess telling her what just happened, okay? <laughs> Why is that Twilight's answer to everything? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know Something what? Something weird happened, right, Princess Celestia Letter? That's because they I always mean, that's get it. super Listen. flanderized in all these stories. Like, all the ponies get baked down to their most base traits. So it's yeah. like, yeah, listen, you know... I'm, hey, here's, I'm here's in contact truth. with Princess Celestia, so I have to do this every story. It always reads like Twilight just doesn't know how to function without direct orders from Celestia. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? I'm yeah. going to invent a new term, you know. It's specific for us at the Steel Donut. Everyone gets Theodore. Because you know how Theodore, oh, mm. of all the chipmunks, always is just, oh, I'm hungry, I eat. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you get boiled down to one, yeah. a yeah. single characterization. Character. Yeah, so the pony My is characterization is that like, I you know, eat. All this personality and such? No, no. So I'm going to write a fanfic. All right, so Twilight, her thing is she writes letters to Prince Celestia. Uh, Applejack, um, she works on a farm, so she's just going to talk about apples and farms. Uh, Rarity only talks about fashion. Whether it, the, it matters or not, she only talks about that. Pinkie Pie always says she wants to party. Okay, uh, uh, fuck. Uh, Rainbow Dash is, she's always just bragging. She's an asshole. Um... 
And Fluttershy is shy. All right, great. I'm a great writer. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> wow. I like how you've described every My Little Pony story we've ever read. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they Good always job. just Jesus. end up with one trait left. They never have I really like this term. I like I like this term. I think we should start using getting Theodored is what that is. <laughs> yeah, because mm-hmm. Theodore is such a, a perfect example. He's a perfect example of it because, like, all the chip other, it, all the other chip chipmunks do. do it too, but they get a little bit more. Theodore never gets anything more than, I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a hungry. I'm, fat, oh. I'm a hungry boy, let's eat. Like, remember, yeah. all throughout Chipmunk 2, he barely showed up, and whenever he did, he always mentioned food. It's like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they've all been Theodore, right. man. It's it's great. Oh. All right. Twilight said, while trying to examine the creature, Okay, Twilight, I'll be back! <laughs> Spike said, while running to get a quill and ink and some paper. Spike's always trying to escape these stories. <laughs> yeah, I what mean, are you? can you blame him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I love this one. What, what are you? It's so simple. Just what are you? <laughs> what are you? I'm try- <laughs> what are you? I'm, you guys are still telling jokes. I'm trying to deliver this line. And you know what? It's just because I'm trying to survive this, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Twilight said. I'm kind of delirious now. Twilight said, but then gasped when she saw it is eyes open. The creature looked at her. Can I just like the what are you? The way it's because it has no punctuation. (laughs) It's like she says it like not in like an intrigued and mystified manner, but more like she's just kind of like what are you? Yeah, Uh, I think it's more like she's listing words she knows. Yeah. What, are, what you? are you? Yeah, it's like a shit post. <laughs> yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. yeah, pretty much. No. That is what it is. So this, this entire story is a shit post. Help <laughs> me. It sputtered, then shut down. Dun, dun, Good dun, job. Dun. What was it damaged by? The teleportation? <laughs> the two punches it received. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, listen, that, that robot king can punch. Oh, yeah. Christ! I saw oh, the last word of the too. chapter end notes. Don't read oh. ahead, yellow. Just yeah, power I'll through. Go, yeah, I'll the go prize. through. Heck yeah! I know it's not the best in the world, but I did my best. And also, if you see a grammar <laughs> error or things like that, tell me, and also tell me how to correct it. This goes for oh, the rest God. of the chapters too, by the way, guys. I'm out of ideas for my stories. Jesus. If you have an idea on how my story should continue, <laughs> just leave a review regarding your thoughts, and that goes for the rest of the stories too. Adios, amigos. <laughs> Adios, Adios, amigos. <laughs> Mwah, chef kiss, beautiful. That is just the I cherry say, on top. I like, love, mwah. they misspelled amigos because they swapped the I and the G because they think there should be two Gs. Yeah. Amigos. They think it should be amigos. amigos. Yeah, they just fucked up it, so it's amigos. Uh, amigos. You know, I, I, I used to end all my emails with uh, see you space cowboy, but maybe I'm going to switch it to this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah adios, adios, amigos. Amigos. <laughs> adios, amigos. I actually wrote that at the bottom of my resume, but <laughs> yeah. I haven't gotten any callbacks yet. Yeah. Weird. It's just like references available upon request. Adios, amigos. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote that at the bottom of my mission statement. <laughs> That's gonna be on my fucking tombstone. Yeah. Adios, adios amigos. Oh, 1992 to 2020. Adios, amigos. Yeah. And you know. Um, my my problem with job interviews is whenever they ask for references, I just start dropping references to like movies. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Movie references, <laughs> game references. Yeah, references. Uh, don't make I a girl a promise of... if you know you can't keep it. What is that? What are you saying? It's a reference to Halo Three. Yeah. Cortana yeah. says that. Uh, references. I I know every line in the Big Lebowski front to back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah like you walk into. I, the, I hate the fucking Eagles, man. Yeah, you walk in there and they're just like, all right, we'd like to discuss your references. It's like you know that really really tied the room together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, oh well, yeah. So I think we can hire you. <laughs> ah yes, good. Well, some money, Lebowski. We'll see you on Monday. Adios, Sam Gigos. Adios, Sam Gigos. <laughs> Adios, Sam Gigos. Oh, You're shit. like. That's when you know you found your perfect job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's your dream job. Just on the basis of the guy who hired you. Yeah. By the way, obviously yeah. don't write reviews for this. Yeah, you, you can't. Speaking anyway, to our think. audience, do not respond to them. Yeah, because um, on this on this uh, website, they are no longer accepting news stories. I don't even think they're accepting new reviews. I think they've locked out really? the site. 
Yeah, they said it's really? going to stay up indefinitely as like a repository, but they're not uh, accepting any new anything. Really? Oh, huh. yeah, interesting. Pen fiction huh, is well. still, but Pony Fiction Archive is just what's here is here, but what's here is is immortalized for all time. Stabs, Blade. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Is here too. Oh man. Well, well, see you next time, everybody. Yeah, adios, and gigos. Adios, and gigos. <laughs> Thank you to everyone supporting us on Patreon, and an extra special thanks to our Platinum D-Holes, ODST795, Polly Hebert, and Stannis the Manus. If you'd like to support us, check out the Patreon. Even $1 will get you some special perks, and $5 will let you vote in a poll for the next story we cover on the channel. If you want to hang out with us, make sure you check out our public Discord, and if you'd like to request a story, simply fill out the form below. We'll check it out to see if it's something we want to cover. Thanks for watching.